So one of the best things about being a YouTuber is that when I'm wrong, it's forever recorded. And then I get to start off a video like this. Guys, I was really, really wrong about the CMP100-210. Like, really wrong. At first, one of the things that bugged me about this GPU was that there were two different BIOSes. The V100 BIOS and the CMP100 BIOS. And you had no idea which one you would get. And the CMP100 was about 10% worse and the price was the same. So it kind of turned me off from it. Well, fast forward to now, and the V100 BIOS is gone, and you won't likely ever find it again, and we're left with the CMP100 BIOS, which is fine, because unbeknownst to me, the efficiency of them was exactly the same, and that is what is important, and the price is also changed to reflect that. Now, full disclosure, Respec.io sent me a unit to review, and that was one of the reasons I finally got my butt in the gear and did a big deep dive into this GPU. And guys, these things are monsters. I was already down on my 3070s and replacing them with 170HXs. But after this, I am going to be getting rid of them ASAP and replacing them with as many 100-210s as I can. But don't take my word for it because this is sponsored by Respect.io. Look at the numbers. This review will be in three parts. One, it will be unboxing to see what the GPUs look like when they're shipped to you. Two, there will be hash rate testing on all the major algorithms. And three is a conclusion. And thank you again to Respect.io for sending me this unit and use code KMANTECH for 5% off. A link to their eBay store is down below, which is also an affiliate link, which will help the channel. Now let's do a quick unboxing and then we'll get to the hash rate testing. All right, so here's the unboxing. It comes with, oh. It comes with a guide on how to set it up. That's actually pretty cool. It doesn't have Hive in it, but it's not bad. It's better than nothing. Uh, I, I did go through this already to see what came in it, and it's bubble wrapped. Move the GPU comes in an anti-static bag. Comes with respect.io, all of their info and their socials. Thank you again to them for sending me this card to review. It did come with this and this wasn't plugged. This was not plugged in. I plugged it in and put it back in the bag, but it does come with everything you need, which is good. The card looks like it's in good shape, which is really nice. And it has a bracket, which you can just basically pop this in a rig and mine with it. Now, the nice thing is that it does come with all of that because sometimes some GPUs that I've bought on eBay and other sites before don't come with this or the bracket to put it in a rig. So we're gonna put this in a custom test bench so that I can test it with proper numbers on my PMD and we're gonna get to it. Respect.io does a good job shipping their cards. They look good and it they did tell you which BIOS this was. All right, so let's go test this baby.
All right, so now that you saw the numbers and I put the chart up there, let me uh, let me go over some of these numbers and add some context to them. I don't think my Kapow numbers were the best. I think you could do a little bit better, but if you look at the GPU or if you look at this testing setup that I had to use, you'll see that it's no wonder I didn't thermal throttle more than I did. So I don't. I think I could have pushed it a little bit more, but even at these numbers, if you compare these to a 3070, 3070 gets. 30 mega hash at 150 watts. So it's not even on the same level. This is probably the best GPU for Kapow. So if all you care about is Kapow, you should only have these in your farm. I do want to preface though, that these things are very difficult to cool when mining Kapow. And I think basically, unless you have an Octo Miner in a shed, I don't think you could cool these with any other setup. But I plan on testing that in another video coming up soon. Next, I want to go back over ETH hash. Again, the reason I covered e ETC was so you could see what they did on Zill. Again, those are great numbers, especially when compared to a 3070, which only does about 60 mega hash on Zill. We move down to Iron Hat, Ironfish, and wow, Ironfish basically matches the 170 HX, which gets about 62 mega hash. I mean, so these things are monsters on ironfish if you believe in fish hash you should be getting these as well as they are the undisputed king of fish hash now on zealous they actually do pretty well as well they get about 34 to 36 kilohash when compared to the 64 kilohash the 170 hx gets the value is incredible you got to understand that these things are only 150 dollars versus the 170 hx which is about four uh, 400 and $20 as of the time of filming this video. And then finally, the dual mining numbers were okay. Dual mining really isn't profitable right now, but I just wanted you to see what it could do. I think if you could cool these and if Hiram ever gets more profitable again and Zealous ever goes to triple mining, I think that would be a pretty good combo. Basically, my conclusion is this is probably the best or at least tied for the best GPU you can buy for crypto for gp mining right now essentially my entire farm if i can get it to where i want it to be all of my nvidia cards will only be 100 210s and cmp 170 hx's that's it hbm2 memory is the way to go and these things at the 150 dollars price point plus a five percent off using my code kman tech makes these things unbeatable value it is really 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 difficult for me to tell you to do anything but go buy these and on top of that, Respect.io wanted me to tell you that they do bulk buy GPU farms off people. So if you're looking to get rid of your farms fast and swap into these, which I am probably going to be trying to move my 3070s as fast as I can to buy as many of these as I can, I think you should hit them up. Uh, their email is right down below. Shoot them an email and they will work with you and give you the best pricing they can on your mining farm. These things are definitely a crude buy and I can't recommend them more. But thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe for more GPU mining content. Guys, looking at these numbers, maybe GPU mining is starting to claw back. That's it for now. Recruitman out.